I'm Jill Valley in Polson. It was Sunday afternoon. I was able to take a boat up to the fire to watch the firefighting efforts. This was done with the permission of the Lake County Sheriff's Office, and we were, of course, very careful to stay out of the way of the firefighters who were working. Now, from Polson Bay, you don't see much, but as you approach, you suddenly saw the stretch of smoke and fire on the mountainside. Every now and then, a column of smoke would come up, but what struck me was the area above Highway 35. It had burned so hot Saturday night that the mountainside looked just like ash with the ground cover with a couple of burnt trees in between. Now a couple of helicopters were working diligently to scoop water out of the lake, a smaller helicopter and a Chinook. They seem to be concentrated on a couple of spots to the north where presumably for structure protection or to cool a hot spot down. You could also see fire trucks along Highway 35 as they're patrolling the area to make sure everybody was safe and to keep an eye on the fire spread. There were areas where the fire had gone over the highway burning toward the lake. There did appear to be structure damage here and there. Hard to speculate at this point. We're still assessing the amount of structure damage caused by this fire. There was some ash and debris coming down into the lake from the fire and onto the boat where I was, but none of it was on fire. Remember this as well as we talk about cabins. These really are people's homes. Some of them are legacy homes. So our thoughts are with those people who may be getting the bad news that they may have lost some of their property. I'm Jill Valley in Polson.